Hello, Uber and Lyft family. How is everyone? I came on here to talk about to talk about um, passengers leaving personal belongings behind. So, I had it happen to me within the five months that I have been uh, driving for Uber and Lyft about four times before I put a sign up. I put the sign up. It was going smooth for like at least, what, three months now? And I had a customer to leave his iPhone. I didn't know it was back there. The customer that I had picked up and dropped off, she noticed this. Hey, someone left their cracked up phone back here. She didn't know it was the iPhone at the time. She handed it to me. It was scarred up. The glass was cracked. And I had to be careful with it because I didn't want to get myself cut. Um, and so I looked at the phone. And he had a message on it, the front of it. A call number, you know, and um, to let me know that he left his phone and so on and so forth. So then I said, okay. So I had to go back in my mind, who can this be, so on and so forth, before I saw his message on his phone. Because I really didn't want to touch it. Because you don't know how people are when it comes to their personal things. And if it's time for a new one, or if they see the idea, who maybe uh, so-and-so can actually get me another phone that I lost or misplaced in one of their uh, partner's cars. I'm just saying. I don't know if he, he's going to do that. I don't know if, even if he attempted to do it. I don't know. I haven't received any emails in reference to that. But anyway, prior to this situation, I usually would take a picture of the object, send it to Uber, let them know that a customer left X, Y, and Z in my vehicle. Then I would take it to the customer, snap a picture, letting them know I have given it to the customer. So that will alleviate them coming at Uber and Uber coming at me. I was in the middle, I was actually working, doing the surge and the boost time this morning. And so I'm like, oh my God. I didn't want to carry it any longer. Once I found out, I had to do something immediately. So I turned my app off and he said that he would pay me for any inconvenience. I didn't pay that no mind. The thing is, I want to get the phone out of my car, back to who it belongs to, be done. So he put that in there. So I get to his house maybe, I was maybe like two, two to three miles away from where I was working. Turned the app off. Uh, came to the area he, he called well I called him let him know I was outside because I wasn't coming to the door um, then he came to the car with a card with a card okay I don't want to show anything else because I don't want to do that but anyway um, he gave me a card and he said send me an email and I'll send you some gift cards I'm like, okay, like, because he said, oh, I'm sorry, I, I was going to give you $20, but I looked at my wallet and I didn't have it. First of all, I wasn't looking for anything. Second of all, why would you lie? Third of all, before you offer people money, wouldn't you check to see what you have first? Okay, so I'm like, whatever. I mean, like, whatever. Like, not like whatever, but whatever, you know, no problem. You didn't have to say what you said. So I'm just, here you go. Here's your phone, sir. You know, have a great day. And I'm tired of being halfway here. <laughs> anyway, so I got that taken care of. But it's been bothering me. And I just wanted to let you guys know, whenever a customer, and you're probably already doing it, because I was doing it and I stopped. Don't stop it. Because, for one, I'm kind of leery about him because... When he got into the vehicle, he wanted to know where I lived. He wanted to know which way I took to get home. I don't know if he was trying to see if I knew about the area that I said that I lived in or what, but he wanted to know. And I, you know, just, 
over that one, that question. So that was puzzling me. And I'm just hoping that he is not that kind of person who looks for opportunity to, um, you know, to kind of like get over on people. And that was puzzled. That was really bothering me today. And, um, and I haven't emailed Uber yet because I gave him the phone. But the only thing is I don't have proof now because I didn't take a picture of him. I got proof of the email, but he could say that he gave me his card for some other reason. I don't know. I, you know, I'm just, in other words, I don't want you guys to have to deal with that. So that's why I came on here to talk about it. For, for some, it might be a duh -uh moment, you know, like you should do this and that, whatever. I'm the kind of woman that, hey, <laughs> it's all good. And sometimes things have to happen or get in your mind before something seriously happens. So, first, I really don't want anyone leaving anything in my vehicle, period. I just don't. Uh, secondly, <laughs> I'm going to have to just take it to Uber um, office and let the customer go there to pick it up and I'll take a picture showing that I'm sent, giving it to X, Y, and Z person at Uber and then just be done. But I was trying to, you know, just get it done. You know how sometimes we just want to just get it done. We just say, whatever, let's just do what we got to do. That kind of thing. And um, I'm just hoping that nothing becomes of it. Um, Cause just, you just gotta watch people. You know, I don't know. It was just, I mean, the phone was, I mean, horrifically, <laughs> I mean, like, I couldn't be, I was surprised that it could still be used. I mean, scarred up, scratched up, not scarred up, scratched up, glass broken, icky. And I cleaned my hand off really good. You know, when you see stuff, it's like, Whoa! yeah. But anyway, um, ugh, it's just a bother right now. But I may just email Uber. I may just email just to let them know I did return it today. It was an old phone. It was, I mean, but it was the iPhone. I saw that on the back of it. So, yeah. You gotta watch people. You, got, you really do. Some people, they are so sneaky and conniving. It's just, it sickens me. It really does. It just sickens me how um, some people can be. Just, ugh. But, yeah. So, I wanted to pass it on. So, those who can utilize it, go for it. Those who really don't care, okay. Um, those who may have had that same experience, comment below. Let me know. What's what? Okay. All right, guys. Uber on lift up, as my lady, Uber lady Baltimore would say. Um, and yeah, let's do this and make some money. Take care now.